Jill right here, and I'm going to grab her and uh, paste her into Adobe Illustrator, and uh, and we'll bring her up. And because it was a transparent background, you can see we've got some layers, and we're going to go and uh, trace this. And uh, we can play around a little bit with the presets that we get a nice solid Jackhammer Jill outline, which is what we're going to use to cut. Mm -hmm. And then we use the Jackhammer Jill bitmap to engrave. And I just did that already, so you don't have to sit and watch me play with Illustrator for five minutes. But we're going to have an outline, a vector that's the cutout, and we've got the bitmap, which mm -hmm. is Jill herself. So okay. you can see here, there's the, there's the cut line, and this is the bitmap. And that's what we're going to use. Yeah. So from here, once I've, once I've got that file, just a black and white bitmap, and align. I'm going to hit the Glowforge plugin, and when I when I hit that, it's actually going to push it up to the Google Cloud, where you have a private repository as a Glowforge customer. And by the way, this service we run it in the cloud, but it's free forever. Comes with your Glowforge, and so then it pushes it back down to your web browser, and you can see there's Jill. So there's nothing in the bed. I better go throw some material in. I'm going to grab a little square of cl clear acrylic. One of the things that's really challenging when you're making stuff on machines is the lining up the digital image with the actual physical raw material. So what we did at Glowforge to make that much easier is we actually pull an image from the, um, from the lid. So what I just did was I grabbed a background image so that I can see the whole bed with the material in it. And now I grab Jill and I plunk her on top of the material and I say, whoops, okay, well that didn't fit, but no problem. I'm just going to go and redo it. So I'm going to make it 2.5 and hit the print to Glowforge button. It's going up to the Google server, back down to the Glowforge, and you can see now Jill fits perfectly. Um, for each different line, I've got a line for uh, a line for the uh, the cutout, and I've got an image for the engraving, and so I can pick those settings separately. So for this one, I'm going to say I'm going to cut at let's say 350. Um, now, what's really cool is we're going to be selling materials that come encoded with an invisible barcode. So you don't even have to do what I just did. That's advanced right there, where you go set the power and mm -hmm. speeds yourself. If you put in our materials, it'll pick it up automatically from the barcode, and it'll just set it. So all you have to do in that case is just hit print. Before I, uh, Well, I'll hit print, and then I'll come back and show you a little more here. So I push print. It's now gone up to the cloud again from my browser and down to the Glowforge. And let's go over to the Glowforge and we'll, we'll get started. So you can see I've got that little piece of acrylic right in here. It's ready to go. All I'm going to do is push this button to kick it off. All right? Now, as soon as I do that, the head springs to life. The first thing it's going to do is this engrave where it goes back and forth. Now, a couple of the cool features that you see going on, you see the camera, which is right here, which gives you the broad image. What you can't see is under the head, we have a second camera. And that second camera is a macro camera that gives you a close-in view of the material. That's what lets us do some of our really cool vision features. For example, if I wanted to engrave this on both sides, I can flip it over. I can send the head back over to go register the corners and engrave from the second side. And that camera lets me get really close alignment because the head camera is only accurate to about, uh, oh, about uh, uh, a sixteenth of an inch, whereas the close-up camera gives you about um, a, uh, closer to a thousand DPI over a little tiny area that's only an inch. So it gives you a really great close-up view. If you want to scan something so that you can copy it, like you make a drawing and then you want to actually cut and engrave it, you can do that with the lid cam, but you can also go in more slowly with the head cam and get a tighter view. Now if we come back over to the software, I'll show you a few things going on over here. So I mentioned uh, that it's going from here over to the cloud. What's kind of cool is the cloud service actually figures out where the motors are supposed to be at each microsecond in time. And it not only sends it to the Glowforge, it sends it back to the machine. So it may be a little hard to see, but it's actually showing a live preview of the cut. It's showing the engrave mm -hmm. and then it's showing the cut. And it's got a countdown that's accurate to the second. When this hits zero, you'll hear the fan shut off, it'll be finished. Because it knows with perfect precision when the Glowforge is going to be done. I'll just do a quick tour of the features and we can zoom in for that. So just to show you some of the other things going on, you have the ability to choose whether each color is a cut, an engraving, or to turn it off altogether if it's just a guideline. You can actually pick your materials. While if you use the materials we provide, they're pre-coded, um, we also let you go design your own material settings and save them, and we have some presets that are already there for you. We have the ability to go and trace uh, things that are uh, trace designs that are in there, um, so you can make a copy. And you can even go back um, and see we've got this 
uh, this sort of your my projects folder. These are all things we made. You may recognize mm -hmm. some of these things that yeah. we made. And so anything you upload is here in your sort of private space. We're also going to make available a public space, a catalog, where you can buy premium designs. Now let's go over and take a look. I heard Jill finish. Let's see what happened. Right. So I'm going to open this up here and you can see even though Jill herself is a little pixelated, it's accurate down to about one one thousandth of an inch. But this doesn't look very good. Let's peel the uh, the acrylic off or the, the sticker off and you can see what it looks like underneath. You can see we've got it cut, we've got it engraved, um, it cut around the outside, engraved in the center, and there's Jill in all her all her glory. Well, Mark, I got to tell you, I have been reading Boing Boing for approaching 20 years now, and I was so excited to get to show this to you before, and now I'm excited to get to actually help sponsor Boing Boing and, and uh, be a part of the amazing stuff you guys do. By the way, people should know, Friday at 6 p.m. Pacific time, the pre-order campaign is over, all the prices are going to go up, so I would love to get these in people's hands. They can go to glowforge.com uh, and order one, and in fact, don't tell if they go to glowforge.com slash boing boing, there's a hundred dollar discount. So they'll actually get a hundred dollars off of the current price, which is half in turn of what we think we're going to be selling it for at retail. So that's only valid up until Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. But I would love to get some of these in more people's hands.